Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys, the greatest fan-owned club in the history of football. Today we're taking on Burnley again because I failed to beat Burnley the first time and now I have to play them again. This is entirely my fault. I am ashamed and I am apologetic. Today we're going to learn about how to be an intern, which is one of my specialties because I have both been an intern and now have become a person who has interns. Um... And I know a lot of you are uh, going to have internships in your life. And I have some advice, uh, both from having been an intern and from, um, uh, you know, having, having employed some great interns uh, here, including, it must be noted, Meredith, uh, who was once an intern and is now uh, an assistant manager of a fictional football team. Really, you know, she's lived the dream. Meredith should, show, should host How to Be an Intern because she did a great job of it. Um, Meredith was an amazing intern, and um, I, I think sometimes about, like, what made her so good, uh, because I want to help, you know, like, other interns be as good as Meredith is. Oh, okay, St. Louis just needed to settle the ball there, and he would have scored. Oh, boy. Probably should have passed back. Man, it was offside anyway. Um, so... I interned for uh, a, a U.S. congresswoman. That was my first internship. Her name was Corrine Brown. Uh, she's later turned out to be a little bit corrupt, but nice lady. Um, and um, I think she accepted, like, two Lexuses from the uh, president of the Central African Republic or something and got into some trouble. But whatever. It, point being, I worked in her, one of her offices, like, um, and I would just, you know, I would help handle uh, complaints, like people would reach out to the congresswoman asking, you know, can I get my kid into the United States, or various other things, and then she would try to make it happen. That was basically the way it worked. Speaking of the way it works, dicko! Dang it. If that had been, if that had been Kelvin, I think we all know it would have been a goal. Look at Kelvin. Look at him dancing on the ball. And he got fouled from behind, because they lack courage, Burnley. Um, I'm not going to shoot. I'm no dummy. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, so, uh, when I was an intern there, I spent most of my time playing solitaire, uh, full disclosure. Uh, and in retrospect, that was a mistake. Um, I think I've spent most of my time playing solitaire because I didn't know how to ask for more work. Um, like, it, it, it felt weird to ask. Um, and I felt, I just, the whole thing felt weird. I felt uncomfortable in the office and I felt scared all the time and I didn't know if I was doing a good job and like, I didn't get the same kind of feedback that you get. Oh no, obviously pass to Kurt's Kelvin. I have so many new players. Speaking of which, we have a new, brand new center back playing today, uh, Ginger McShane. Um, you may remember him because he once played for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers, uh, but he was good enough to uh, come back. I did not pick him because he's a ginger, I promise. I picked him because he was cheap. And I saved there, Seb. Um, he was super cheap. He was only 500,000 bucks. Just a nice way to bolster our squad with someone in the upper 60s. Um, yeah, so no regrets yet. Oh my God, Can, why can't we score against Burnley? I just scored five goals against Newcastle. So much better when you guys aren't watching. So, um, I didn't know how to ask for help. And that, I think, is the central thing about being an intern, is like, one of the ways that people know that you're doing really good work is that you finish the tasks that they give you and you finish them really well. Not like 80% finished, but finished. So that the first time, your first, no, come on. K. St. Luce was not, that's not a foul. That's a little bit of a, you know, pelvis on pelvis. If, if pelvis on pelvis is a foul, then I don't even understand how we have a sport. It's not a sport. It's, it's croquet, essentially. Um, the difference between a sport and a game is whether or not there is pelvis on pelvis action. Um, that is my theory. Bowling? Game. There's no pelvis. Uh, basketball? Sport. Lots of pelvis on pelvis action. Football? Obvious sport. Merritt, do you have any other questions about whether something is a sport or a game? Tennis? You know, that's an interesting question because you very rarely see pelvis on pelvis in tennis, do you? Because the net separates them. Same with volleyball. A beautiful game, but not a sport. <laughs> oh, dicko. Um, 
So uh, here's, my, here's my advice about being an intern. If you get an internship and you are given a task, uh, feel free to ask questions about how to do that task well, yada, yada, yada. But when you turn in the task or when you sort of deliver, over deliver, way over deliver, deliver in such a way that, it is, that the thing is so finished uh, that, you know, your life is, oh God. Oh, not Burnley! Oh, Jesus. My life flashed before my eyes. Danny Ings. It's a nice shot, actually, by Danny Ings. Um, Over-deliver. Um, make, sure make sure to ask... Don't be afraid to ask questions, but, um, but, 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 but work hard, and if you find yourself with a break, uh, take advantage of that by saying, like, is there something that I can do? Um... You got to be, in general, I have found in an office environment or in really any kind of like company or whatever, you, there are people who create problems and people who solve problems. And I am a person who creates problems. But you want to be a person who solves problems because those are the people who end up doing well in life. Now, I know that I come to you as a semi-professional FIFA player and you're probably thinking, well, he seems to be doing pretty well for himself. He's the world's worst uh, FIFA player who gets to do it for uh, a living that he ends up donating to AFC Wimbledon. But, and that's true, however... Uh, I do not recommend my course of success because I think that it involves a tremendous amount of luck. Um, I, I recommend being a person who solves problems, being a person who can get on the phone, being a person who, like, when asked, like, um, can you figure out how to do this, figures out three ways to do it, um, and then comes to you, comes to the, the person who asked with lots of potential solutions. Like, I think, oh, I think that's the key to success. And that is my internship advice. Uh, ask yourself, am I, am I uh, creating problems or creating solutions? And uh, at least when you're an intern, you want to be creating solutions. That's, oh! Oh, that was never going to work. Dicko absolutely skied it. Meredith, what's your internship advice as an intern who got a job? She thinks my advice is good. But, you know, she has to say that. She says, that's just good assistant management right there. Okay, yeah, that was great. That was really good. Meredith said, if you have free time, rather than playing solitaire, learn about the company. So, like, watch Crash Course videos if you're interning here. Um, make sure that you know, like, what the things that are going on are, and then you can maybe try to figure out ways to, you know, maybe try to figure out ways to uh, participate in that. Um, that's a good idea, Meredith. You're pretty good. You, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. I like that. By the way, 60th minute, still haven't beaten Burnley. Uh, after nearly two full matches, Burnley remains undefeated. Oh, Burnley. This is, this is just difficult to watch. God! They're just so, they're so annoyingly good in defense. They just, they just know how, they just know how to shut me down. I have no way, uh, to compete with their, there's Ginger McShane. He's like, anything you can do, we can do better. There's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Frank off the ball. God, Frankenstein. I thought that you were gonna thought you were maybe gonna set up a goal there. This is this is just pathetic. Burnley's had the vast majority of possession. We need to go. You know what we need to be doing is we need to be counterattacking because we're a great counterattacking team. Um there, there's a good there's a good counterattacking moment. It didn't work out for us. But let's just go into attacking mode. Let's see if there's any substitutions we need to make here in the 70th minute, bearing in mind that we might have freaking extra time against Burnley. Uh, K Saint Luce is pretty K Saint tired. Uh, let's bring. You know, the Golden Child's had a terrible season. I have to tell you, but we're actually not. We're gonna bring on. No, I like. We're gonna bring on. Uh, do we have a winger? No. You know what we could do? We could always move Dicko to the wings. But I think that we're going to need to bring on John Green. And John Green and Kelvin are a really good team. That's my first choice strike team, actually. John Green and Kelvin and then Dicko and Dini is my second choice strike team. But, um, you know, I don't know. Dicko really wanted to play. He kept, 
kept being annoying about it. They always email you when they want to play. They're like, coach, coach, put me in the game. I'm feeling good. And I'm like, if you're feeling so good, why are you always offside every single freaking time? Um, all right. Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. Interning. Um, yeah, so the best interns that we've had here are people um, who are like, they are good at, good at something, but they're also like excited to learn tasks and like, oh, ball John Green! Ah! Ball John Green. Kelvin. Kelvin made a nice move there. Thought about, thought about winning the ball, but then thought better of it in the end. It's just like, yeah, it's Burnley, coach. Can't do anything against the mighty force that is Burnley, a club in the second tier of English football. Um, and you know what? Maybe Burnley's going to send us out. Maybe Burnley's going to send us out right now, and we aren't going to get to play in the FA Cup anymore. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the other internship that I had was with uh, Orange County, um, like the government in their marketing department. They were trying to, it's a really interesting problem actually. They were basically trying to figure out what are free ways to tell uh, low income people about this, that, that they can get their uh, air, con that they can get air conditioning assistance um, in the summertime, you know, or like fans and stuff so that people don't, um, especially elderly people don't, uh, you know, like die of heat stroke. And, um, you know, like, marketing to old people is an interesting challenge. I didn't know much about it. Uh, the main thing there was that I learned from good people. The other thing that I would say is, like, take what mentoring you can get. You may get very little, but take what you can get and try to learn from the people around you um, about what they're doing. And it, I know it's impossible not to go into that stuff feeling really scared, but you don't need to. Um, you know, nobody knows what they're doing in their jobs. That's, like, the defining thing about having a job. Um, everybody feels like a complete imposter and like nobody knows what they're doing. You know what I mean, Meredith? Do you, Meredith disagrees with me. She's in, she feels like she's completely confident and doesn't know what I'm talking about. No, like once you realize that everyone is like essentially faking their jobs, it's incredibly helpful because then the, uh, the anxiety that you feel around your job sort of goes away. Um, that's a great, oh, there's a good opportunity. No, it all fell apart. No, obviously I wanted you to pass to Kelvin, not to a Burnley player. H. Walter White, you're better than that. Kelvin, stay aggressive. Stay aggressive. Oh, we're going to extra time, Meredith. This is a nightmare. The Burnley nightmare. I like Ginger McShane's haircut, don't you? I think he's looking good. Huh? You don't like gingers. Is that the problem? You don't like gingers. It's all fine. Yeah. Are you in a dark place? Are you... Are you also sad about the fact that we've managed to somehow go to extra time against Burnley? Two matches have been unable to decide. This, this whole season, in terms, of, in terms of the private season that I've played, has been very enjoyable. But the season that people have watched has been a loss to Barcelona, a draw against Burnley, and now a scoreless draw against Burnley. It's only the hardest core people who are staying for the last season of the Win We Wombies in FIFA 14. I mean, you got to... Oh, yeah, no, God! Are you kidding me? Ah! I suck at penalties, too. I'm going to freaking lose on penalties to freaking Burnley. All right, I got to get positive. That's another thing I'd say about your internship. Be positive about your experience. I was fouled. Thank you for acknowledging it. Um, yeah, just, you know, it can, be, it can be a little exhausting to be the new person. Um, and particularly if you're only there for a little while. Uh, but, um, oh yeah, the other thing I'd say is like, don't be overly aggressive with people. You know, don't be like, you know, be chill about trying to get your mentoring in because they're trying to run a company and stuff. Um, so you've got to, you got to, you got to ask like, where can I add value, which, uh, is a difficult, you know, that's difficult to ask sometimes, but it's an important question. Oh, that was a great run by Correa Correa that ended with an unnecessary slide tackle. But we, the truth is Meredith, we just can't compete with Burnley's possession. Um, all right. We have 15 minutes right now to find a goal. Uh, do we have a substitution left? I am, just to be clear, 
horrified and embarrassed by my inability to beat Burnley this many years into my career as a FIFA 14 player. I apologize to my many supporters. All right, I'm bringing in Dini uh, because he's reasonably good at penalties and because he's fast. And so we'll have Dini and John Green up front. We'll have Kelvin on the wing, uh, which is technically where he plays best anyway. Nope. Not, not in that case, though. In that case, he made a terrible pass. All right. We're going to have one or two attacks. We hit the post. That was exciting. But what would be better than hitting the post would be putting the ball inside of the goal and winning the game. And it's a corner! It's a corner! All right. Focus. Kelvin. Oh! What a save by the Burnley keeper! That was ridiculous! Burnley? This is an embarrassment. Oh. The fact that the Burnley keeper can make those saves bodes very poorly for penalties. No! Get out! Yes! All right, we got another corner, Meredith. We got another corner. Meredith should take her earphone out. Making a little too much noise. Come on. Kelvin! Oh! It was Zuma. It was Kurt Monty Zuma who almost, almost... Oh, no. And now Kurt Montezuma's out of position. And then he fouled someone. And it's the 120th minute, and we're going to go to penalties against Burnley, and we're probably going to freaking lose. Oh, my. God. Are we going to go to penalties against Burnley? I hope so, because otherwise they're going to win. I can't believe two games against Burnley. And it all comes down to penalties. This is ridiculous, Meredith. Okay. All right. Kelvin's going to take the first one. All right. At least we've got Seb Brown. Stay central! Yes, Seb! Yes, Seb! Yes! Do you know he saved two penalties against Luton Town, Meredith? Did you know that? That's the reason we're in the Football League in the first place. That's a pretty good penalty, Kelvin. Kelvin?! <sighs> okay. Should I stay in the middle, Meredith? What do you think? Left. Meredith? <laughs> well, it's, it's all guessing, as far as I can tell. If there's a secret, I definitely don't know what it is. All right, there's Troy Deeney. He's got a good penalty on him. It's 1-1. One, one. Damn it. I ran away from the ball. Oh, man. All right. And that was not a good penalty by Callum Kennedy. But it's in the net. Okay. All right. I hate your hair. Okay, come on. Come on, Seb. Well, there was nothing you could do about that, Seb Brown. That was an incredible penalty. Yes. All right. All right, Meredith. It's still all even, if I'm counting correctly. Hmm. Hmm. It all comes down to Zuma. Kurt. Monty. Zuma. That's not a good penalty. But it's good enough. Oh, Oh boy, all right, I gotta make a save here. If I make this save, it's all over and we get to keep going in the FA Cup. Oh, he skied it! He skied it! We're going to the third round of the FA Cup because we beat Burnley. Wait, no we didn't, I have to make this penalty. Dang it. Oh, it's Ginger McShane. He's only been a Wimbly Wombly for about four hours. Can he do it? Yes! Yes! Ginger McShane, don't celebrate too much, guys. All you did was beat Burnley to get to the third round of the FA Cup. But yes! Yes, you take your pleasure where you can get it in this world. It's true for regular people and also for interns. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.